The induced fit model is fairly similar to the lock and key model in that we still have a specifically shaped active site and substrates that or sub a substrate that collides with it. The difference with the induced fit model is that the enzyme active site actually changes shape and wraps around the substrate in order to cause the lowering of this activation energy that we'll go into in a second. The idea of that then is it places pressure on the, on the substrate molecules and forces that reaction to happen at a, a more energetically uh, reasonable level. An example of an enzyme that works like that, that the board quite often use to illustrate this, is lysozyme. This is the enzyme in tears and saliva that actually breaks down the peptidoglycan linkages in a prokaryote cell wall. So they protect your eyes and your mouth from uh, bacteria by forcing the enzyme, uh, by forcing the bacteria to effectively burst its cell wall. So I've mentioned activation energy a couple of times, just very quickly to tell you what that is. Whenever you do a reaction, there's a certain amount of energy that needs to be put in to trigger that reaction to start. So on my graph, I've got sort of progress of the reaction along here and the energy level up here. So all molecules have energy levels, so our reactants here I've put as an energy level across here. And this bit here, this red line, represents the activation energy. is required in a physical system to make that reaction happen. A bit like if you imagine setting fire to a piece of paper, you've got to put some heat energy in to make that paper burn. The idea of enzymes then, the way in which this enzyme substrate complex works, is it actually requires a much lower activation energy to make that reaction happen. So they tend to take place at much lower temperatures and require less energy to get the whole thing started. So all you really need to know is that when you're talking about enzyme substrate complexes forming, that you're talking about them lowering the activation energy required to start that reaction and make the conversion of substrate into product.